Hey guys, Darren back again, and today we have a very special delivery, something I've been looking forward to for quite a while, and I think it's a Nest Mini. So let's uh, let's open this up, take a look, and we might even unscrew the case and see what's inside. So. So let's take a look. Okay, package inside a package. It's quite small. These things are tiny, aren't they? So let's have a look. Oh, there it is. Nintendo. So it's pretty cool. Be very careful not to cut the box here. Okay, so today's release day, as you've probably guessed, uh, this one got shipped within Australia from a local retailer, and we are all good to go. So, there it is, Nintendo Entertainment System, AC adapter is not included, it's actually DC, these guys don't know what they're talking about. Uh, <laughs> let's get on with it, 30 games, wow, it's really small, it's amazing how small this is. Very cool. So, Super Mario, Legend of Zelda, Kirby's Adventure, Donkey Kong, Super Mario 3, Pac-Man, Metroid, Mega Man 2, Final Fantasy, Castlevania, awesome. Ninja Gaiden, Punch-Out, um, there's a longer list down there, so, yeah, okay, okay, 5 volts, 1 amp, one amp. yeah, like an iPhone charger or something. Cool, cool. Let's open this up carefully. All right. So, instruction manual, which we'll keep, obviously. Keep in good condition. This is going to be the controller. Wow, it's, it's exactly like the original. That's really cool. Feels like the original, that's amazing. Let's open it up. I'll keep all that packaging. I want to keep all that perfect. More ties. Okay, so the connector is yeah, it's that new it's like the Wii U, I think. Is it a Wii U connector? Yeah, let's we'll check that out in a minute. Alright. Whoa. Is this the console? That is miniature oh my god <clears throat> wow that is ridiculous like look at the size of my hand like I've got a big hands there's yeah no doubt but look at that that is out of control you know it's basically the width of a controller that's mental all right obviously the lid doesn't open um, there's our two connectors we're going to have a power and a reset, just like the original. On the back, you know, it's great to see HDMI. That is so good, and that's what the uh, the cheaper um, Mega Drive Mini thing just doesn't have, and that's why that's not going to sell very well. You need HDMI. It needs to be digital. So, and uh, DC in looks like, is that micro USB? Yeah. All right. Let's keep digging, see what else we can find. So, how does the rest of this box work? Lift that up. Okay, so they give us a cable, which is good. We just have to provide our own power supply. So put the wrapping over there. You can power this off your TV, I'm guessing, actually, because if you plug that into your TV, into the, the like the hard drive um, input, like where you can mount uh, USB-based um, drives, that'll have enough power and current on it to power this for sure. So that's cool. All right, we got a nice um, HDMI cable. Put all that aside. All right, that's it for the box. I'll get all that out of the way, and then let's let's get this guy set up. We'll get it set up. We'll test it out, and then we'll come back and we'll unscrew it and see what's inside. 
All right, let me just get this set up. Okay, so I've got it cabled up. I've just put the, the controller in. Just run the HDMI cable off the back to the monitor and the USB is going to a USB 3.0 plug. All right, so let's power it up. We get power. And do we get anything on the screen? I hope so. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Bit of a delay there in the boot, actually. That took a few seconds. Um, so, English. Okay. All right. Very cool. Heaps of great games here. Wow. See so yeah, some Zelda. That's awesome. Super Mario 3, 2, original. Very cool. Alright, well I'm gonna pick one. Um let's go with Gradius. Actually no, let's just go with Mario. Where's Mario? Castlevania. Wow, that was instant load, and the the aspect ratio looks perfect. So um, I don't really need to change anything. I don't think. Um, HDMI. I'm just going through my screen settings. I think you can see that. Aspect, one to one or fill. It's interesting. Let's go. Let's go one to one. Oh, okay. Wow. Aspect. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So push start. One player. Very nice. Oh no. Alright, well that's um it plays well, it plays really well. The controller feels awesome. Um Oh what a fail. It's gonna take me a while to get used to it again, but um Yeah, geez, it's good. Like for a nice, simple, cheap unit, that's amazing. That you get that you get all those games, and um, and it's just plug and play, and it's digital, it's upscaled, it's fast. Like I'm just pushing these uh buttons. There's uh very little lag, if any. Uh, There's a little bit. There's a little bit of lag, but it doesn't seem to affect play too much. Yeah, yeah very good, very good. All right, well, how do we uh, how do we reset out of here? Let's push the reset on the console. Okay, cool. So reset on the console, that took me straight back um, to the main title screen. I wonder if I can just turn this sound down a little bit. There you go. Just turn the sound down so you don't get all that music in your ears. Suspend points. Suspend points are created when you... Okay, cool. When you reset a game. Ah, right. So you can... Uh, that's really good. So you can save the state as you go. Very good. So display, options, language, legal notices. Mm, all right. Ah. Oh, check it out. Scanline. Not sure if I want... Um fake scan lines on or not. Let's just have a quick look. Ah, uh, I see. 
No, nah, let's reset out of that. It's kind of cool, but I think I'd prefer 4x3. And Pixel Perfect's going to be a bit narrow. Yeah, okay, cool. Good options, though. Um, demo. Interesting. What I shut down? Screen burning reduction. Okay. Okay, cool. Language, obvious. Legal. Oh, that's good. Online manual. You can just scan that and off you go. Very cool. So that seems like it. A ton of games. That's how you access your save states. Back A. Alright. <clears throat> Alright guys, well let's um let's power this off and pull the lid apart and see what we can uh, find out inside. See what it's got. I'm sure it's an FPGA, but let's take a look. Okay, so we're back over on the bench. And uh, I've just taken out four little Phillips head screws from underneath. And let's lift the case. Okay, that comes off really easily. And we're left with this. So this is what's inside. Looks like... Um, gee, there's not much, is there? Looks like the FPGA is going to be under there. I don't think there's much else under that board. No, there's not. All right, let's, uh, let's dig a bit further. Take out this... Take out this uh, top shield. Looks like all the screws are the same so far, which is good. Like the case screws and this and, the, and these screws in here. Okay, so just move them aside. What happens now? There we go. So that just lifts off. A little bit tight, that shield, but it just came straight off. That's just a bit of padding there to push down. Might be a thermal contact, actually. So it doesn't look like it. It just looks like a bit of sticky foam. All right. Okay, so now I'll take you for a zoomed-in ride. And let's see what we've got. Hang on, let's just turn this whole board around. First of all, what we've got. Nest Mano 1, side B. Made in China, of course. Donald Trump won't be happy with that. He'll want to ban it. Ban the Ness. Um, okay, so let's go through it. Um... Yeah, so I'm not going to pull that protective. Where am I? Yes, I will. Okay, let's just peel that one up. Put it there for a second. So, R16, there's the specs there. I'll just spin you around so you can have actually see that properly. And the chip underneath it. That one's facing the other direction. The Heinz chip. Then up to the next one. What do we got? That's going to be upside down for you. So I'll turn that around. There we go. It's a nice clear shot of that one. It's really not that much going on. And this is one over here. So there it is there. Guys like Kevtris will be able to tell us a lot more about all this and what, what these chips do and what they mean. And if he can do some fancy mods with them, because uh, Kevtris is all into the FPGA NES world. He's made some amazing kits. And, uh, yeah, he's just uh, really switched on with all this stuff. So, Kevtris, if you're watching, it'd um, be great for you to comment, or I'm sure you guys, you and Jason, will make a video of your own soon. That's probably it for today, guys. I'm just going to zoom back out. I'm going to probably plug this in and give it a good play. So, I'm going to put mine back together, and uh, 
we'll uh, just get playing and you know i'll look forward to some more videos coming out on youtube soon that we, so we can learn more about the miss the nest mini and see what it can really do so all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time